What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show Custom Figure Review. Custom Figure Review. Savvy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're working on uh, Captain Jack Hummingbird there, uh, working on his, on his pirate accent. Uh, I haven't quite gotten that down yet, so we're working on it. Uh, so anyway, today's custom action figure review is of Leader One. Leader One was the GoBot leader of the good guys. Because, you know, he's kind of like the opposite of Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, he's Optimus, meaning, you know, optimal, optimum, prime, meaning only one. He Meaning he's like the best leader there is. So then here's Leader One. Ooh, it's not rocket science, man. A lot of thought didn't go into these names at all. Uh, let's go to the videotape. This is Leader One back in the day. Uh, here's some comic book adaptation. This is Leader One. He had like this square face. He went from this jet to the robot. Here he looked like on the cartoon giving some orders or demanding a milkshake. Uh, here he is in action. That looks like something from... Modern comic books, kind of badass looking with Psykill in the background. Guess what Psykill turned into? A, a, a cycle. He's a motorcycle, right. Here's another shot of the Leader One jet. Uh, they made Super Gobots. They were like larger versions of the regular Gobot. And I think that's what that is. Here's like a picture from the cartoon opening theme. There's Leader One, Turbo on the left, Scooter on the right. Guess what Scooter turned into? A scooter, that's right. There's a fancy looking Leader One, looks like a coloring book kind of Leader One. Uh, here's Leader One featured in front of a couple other characters. Uh, the combiner in the background there, his name is Puzzler. Puzzler? P something? They had really weak names. It was kind of cool though, because it was five sports cars that transformed into a giant robot. Kind of like how they are all over the Transformer world. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Here's Leader One in the cartoon saying, uh, peace, I don't give a fuck. Uh, he, I, no, I'm just kidding, I don't know what he said. Here's a, a pretty badass looking custom of Psykill on the right, and the Leader One made out of a, they, those look like, you know, I don't know what those, that looks like Lockdown, actually, from the animated line, and Leader One, I can't really make out what that might have been, but he looks like del at least Deluxe Size or Voyager Size. Uh, here's, here's that same Leader One with, uh, Optimus Prime, and um, let's go back to the workstation that is Alex's Toy Show custom action figure review. So uh, we took a Transformers Prime Dreadwing and we customized. Uh, Leader One had an orange face. If you uh, let's see if we can find you another good picture from the uh, from something. Uh, oh, here we go. There's a couple more good pictures. Fan friggin' tastic. Uh, okay, back. Oh, back to the videotape. There's uh, there's Leader One as an action figure. Leader One as a jet. Leader One. See, he's got those orange goggles looking things. There's a coloring book. Here's Leader One in action with Dive Dive. Guess what Dive Dive trans transformed into? A submarine. Uh, here's some banging robots right here. That's Leader One. That's that's Classics Mirage in the middle there, featuring, featuring hello, featuring uh, as Crasher. Crasher was a badass robot. Crasher, she was actually a girl also in the show. Um, not everybody was a was a boy in that in the GoBots. It was another big feature. This is kind of cool. Little retro story for you here. Uh, later on in the years, like after the 1986 Transformers movie, a lot of GoBots were reissued in a second color. Go, uh, Leader One came out in blue with a silver chest. Uh, same action figure, different paint job. Uh, oh, and then here's one more custom I want to show you. Let's scroll down just a little bit. That's somebody else's nice piece of work, Rottler. Um, that's actually a Dreadwing figure. With, it looks like a mo um, modified head. It doesn't look like the head of Dreadwing. Um, I do not do modifications. I just do paint. So, I gave Leader One the orange face. He's got a gray everything else. Uh, we, did, um, we did some orange highlights, you know, where the, where the guns would mount on the wing. Um, little wrist guards, little black armor there. 
on the forearm, shins, legs, rest of it is pretty much gray. And then when you transform him into the super fighting robot, uh, I'm completely mocking, what's his name, Rusov, Rusev? So what's the what's the Bulgarian? The Bulgarian brute. His name is Rusev. He is custom fighting action figure supreme. And he serves. What's the, what's the Russian guy's name? Oh Jesus! I'm totally mocking Raw right now. He serves Harvey Putin, or I don't know what the guy's name is. Somebody. He's a like leader of Russia. His name is Putin. Kind of like putting on the Ritz. Oh, I just came up with the funniest, funniest thing ever. Stay tuned. This might actually, this idea might actually get me and Grim back together. Okay, so here we go. Leader one, the gray, boring jet. A little bit of orange highlights to kind of accent him in some way other than gray. Um, leader one, like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more. Leader one. Savvy! What the fuck was that? I don't even know. Peace! See you, pals.